Hello, welcome to a new video. Today we have a very simple classic. It will be a show and tell haul where I will be tapping on the things that I will be showing. Anyway, this video is being filmed during a huge thunderstorm so yes you may hear thunder um, throughout the video it's raining a lot sounds like the end of the world anyhow uh, going forward I will see as well just uh, how it sounds maybe I will We have a classic, as I said. It's my floating head in the middle of blackness. Your favorite and my favorite. But let's not ram just, you know, ramble any longer and go into it. Anyway, we have our first thing here and this is Laneige Water Sleeping Mask So, yeah A sleeping microbiome trademark Bright this. I used this before and um, my skin is not doing so well at the moment. I feel like anyway from time to time my skin is just like I'm not doing well. Deal with it. I used to like the sleeping mask um, quite a bit. I feel like it really does uh, soften your skin. And it's like watery texture. Very gel-like, very light, not too heavy. I have a combination skin, so it suits my skin. This is from Laneige. I don't know if I said that already. Maybe I did. Short memory. Next.
something very cute looking. It's a blush from Etched House. Lovely wanted a new blush. I don't know why this haul is very random because it includes um, makeup and skin mostly skincare but also some makeup um, some makeup that I already used and some makeup that has this really soft, really soft, really, really soft pile. I mean, it's cute and all, but like, how am I supposed to I have not tried this yet. The color is... Let me check. Um, right, there's a sticker there, right in the middle. But I believe it was something like a peach or something. And the best but now I am thinking that maybe I should have gotten something a bit more rosy or like you know that type of color a bit more pink but whatever I got all of these things on a website that is called Style Wana I I think they are based in Hamburg, in Hamburg, in Hong Kong. I was uh, at the jazz uh, concert yesterday and uh, I was speaking with my friend of how good and awesome my life was in Hamburg. So Hamburg is on my mind. But this is from Hong Kong. I mean, this is from Korea, made in Korea, but shipped from Hong Kong. Very cute. Next.
is one of my favorite products ever skincare products this is a time is running out mist from Ciori I use it as the first step or like or if I'm feeling a bit my face is feeling a bit dry I don't feel like this would be good for after makeup because if you have um, maybe if you have very dry skin then perhaps but um, since it is uh, very hydrating and also it includes some oils It could break your makeup. I don't know. I haven't tried that. Maybe I will try it but I have bought this I don't know how many times like definitely more than seven eight perhaps and I go through it very quickly because, I mean, I like it that much. My skin like likes it as well. I feel like it is much more hydrated when I use this, of course. And I was feeling like my skin needs some hydration. I don't know if this, the age of getting dry is coming for me your girl is not that young anymore but okay so This is a Japanese product. Um, most of the text is in Japanese. So it might be a bit more difficult to, you know, follow. But uh, this is a Milano CC. It's a vitamin C. Uh, serum. 
or, or brightening essence brightening essence as they call it so from what I can understand here basically it has vitamin C and then also vitamin E and both of them are supposed to help Another makeup product. This is from Peripera Velvet or Ink Velvet. Lip tint. So this is a I would say it's more of a lipstick actually because it's quite pigmented I am wearing a little bit of it today but it is number 31 Wine Nude a creamy texture velvet tint that provides high pigmented colors with ink lasting effect I have because it's a 
be more of a cool tone. So, again, I've been, I think I was a bit more um, into like warm tones with the peach, you know, uh, blush and stuff like that. But I don't know, lately, maybe it's me wishing for autumn to come in. Uh, I've been just, you know, looking for things that are a bit more cool toned. So yeah. It is quite, um, quite dark as well, but if you use it um, sparingly, I've tried this yesterday, I used this for the I think that this would be great for is a new product for me. I have not used this before, but this is a black rice moisture something something uh, a deep moisture cleansing oil. It has, it has only nine, nine ingredients it's 100% um, Korean black rice um, It also says that it has 95% natural ingredients That means nothing to me because I mean, just because it is natural It doesn't necessarily mean that it will be good for you, right? We know that nature has some things that could do some bad damage 
Anyhow, I have not tried this yet. I still have some of my uh, Japanese um, cleansing oil, which is really, really good. So, I will be measuring the efficiency of efficiency, efficacy, whatever of this in comparison to that oil because I know that that oil is really good but we will see This is how it looks inside. Unscented. H A R U H A R U W O Haru Haru Wonder And I picked up another product from that same brand Haru Haru Wonder This one, this one is also black rice But this is Hyaluronic Anti-Wrinkle Serum Ultra Deep Technology Firm and Hydrate So this is black rice hyaluronic anti wrinkle serum. It includes fermented black rice and bamboo shoot bark extract. Anyway, I have tried this one a couple of times already. It has a a scent that smells very medicinal but my skin has not complained it has again 100% locally grown black rice 95% naturally derived ingredients Skin irritation test complete Good for them And this is how it looks say it's a typical um, like serum texture you know but more like a cream or like a lotion I say lotion as if you knew what I mean Japanese skincare, when they say lotion, it's like something in between a serum and a cream. So it's a bit more runny, but yeah. It's also very sticky, so when it uh, absorbs into your skin, it, your skin gets really sticky. It doesn't bother me because once it dries, it goes away. Another 
a makeup product. It's a Kill Lash Super Proof Mascara. Long Curly from I would say it's quite a light brown because I have tried many many brown mascaras. I have one from Benefit, I have one from um, Kiss Me Lashes, the Japanese one. I have also tried one from a brand that I like a drugstore brand but that one I did not like. So it has a very thin brush and it's also slightly curved. Like there are shorter bristles on one side and it's slightly curved and then there are longer bristles. We'll see. As I said, I haven't tried it yet. Usually I do tend to wait a little bit for mascaras to dry a little. For me, I feel like mascaras are a bit better when they sit for a bit. Next. Another Japanese product and it's a sunscreen. I think Japanese sunscreens are the best and I have tried many many I mean they the Korean sunscreens do compete with them as well. I would say, but I mean in terms of how the texture feels for my skin, of course this is personal opinion, personal, okay. So, how it feels on my skin, again, combination skin. 
and you know oily areas as well so I mean not all but these Japanese sunscreens they melt into your skin disappear no cast no nothing like it feels like you have put absolutely nothing on and that's the best for me because I don't want my skin to feel heavy to things move around you know and eh. so we have this Japanese sunscreen it's called sun killer from Kiss Me. So Kiss Me is a brand that I already used, but I've never used this sunscreen. But you know, we will see. I'm almost certain that it will be great. But there is absolutely nothing written in English, just the um, yeah, no, sun killer part, but it is uh, SPF 50 plus, PA 4 plus, and it is UVA and UVB protection. Perfect for my skin. I haven't opened this one yet. I'm finishing uh, one of the sunscreens that I have from a Korean brand but yeah I'm very excited to use this soon another look item. This is Misha Magic Cushion. Moist up. So I've used this cushion before but I use the normal version not the moist up version and I like that one but since Although it is cold weather here at the moment, I'm just, it still is, when it's not raining, it still is kind of hot. I'm just waiting for the cold weather. For me, summer could last like uh, a month. with like, you know, 40 degrees, but like, you know, 28 Celsius. Anyhow, apparently this is supposed to enhance hydration, smooth and radiant skin, brighter complexion and anti-wrinkle care with brightening and UV protection. So this also has SPF 50 PA3+. Pluses. Love that. Sunscreen on sunscreen. That's why I wanted a cushion and I do have another Misha a cushion at the moment. different uh, from this one and it's almost almost gone so,
has this really soft puff. I love this. I mean, Korea should get an award just for making this. Don't quote me on that, please. Don't take anything I say seriously. Anyway, but that's the cushion. It's open now, so I hope to use it soon. another Japanese um, product. This is a hairspray. This is nice. It smells nice. I don't know if, you know, it makes my hair feel lustrous, but it feels nice. It's, it feels smooth. I've tried it once, however, so I don't have an opinion about it yet. But I like how it smells.
because if you have never tried a Japanese cotton pad, you gotta, I mean, let me take that back. And this video also is not me promoting or like telling you to buy any of this. Whatever, you know, you need, you got, yeah. But just saying that Japanese cotton pads are next level completely. This one is from Muji. Yes, Muji cut cotton. It is made in Japan, of course. Fabricato in Giappone. They are just so fluffy and soft and soft and soft. Yes. What I do as well, I soak this in some toner or an essence something liquid and I put two on my cheeks and one on my forehead and I use it like a sheet mask so yeah anyway not a very exciting note to end the video on but that was the last product that I wanted to show to you today and that I got in this haul. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me again or, you know, first time. Please do 